Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, okay, problems with the video. Why is there problems with the video? Um, ah, let me go up here to settings. Okay. Uh, 1920 by 1080. That's. Hmm. Okay. This is the still image. Go to. Nope. Same thing. Problems in River City. Okay. F9 pause. Well, I'm still having problems. Well, I guess I should say this is Jim Howard in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is... Uh, May 10th of 2018. Yesterday I got my new monitor, the LG um, 27UD58P and it's a 4K monitor and I was able to, I had a, yesterday I had a dual boot, I formatted since then. On my uh, computer, when I went to Windows 10, I could not get 4K from it. I tried everything for hours. Uh, different uh, video card drivers, uh, software from the LG uh, monitor. Uh, I just tried everything that I could do no luck. I booted into Linux. 4K worked. I watched a TV show that was in 4K. I didn't see anything really spectacular about it. But going back to Windows, I just could not, just couldn't get it to do 4K. Uh, and I, you know, I disconnected things. I you know, tried all the different kind of drivers I could try. No luck. Then I, uh, I'm sorry about this tracking thing. I've noticed here that when I go away from the tracking, this happens. So, you have to put up with it for a little bit. Uh, oh, let me size this down a little bit. Here we go. So I've, uh, so I thought, okay, I'll just format my hard drive. I'll just have Windows 10 on there. And with a new install of Windows 10, when it installs everything, perhaps it will um, see that I have a monitor, a new monitor, and install a driver or something for it that, and no luck. So I just ended up with a, formatted computer <laughs> with Windows 10 and uh, this uh, thing up here of the video messed up and I'll be able to fix that here pretty pretty quick um, been hectic around here a whole bunch of things going on uh, Just so much going on. I just wish this 4K had just, I, that I would just have been able to hook it up and, and have it, you know, work without having to go through all this crap. Um, so I'm not sure. 
what the next step is. I'll do some more searching on the internet. Um, I may just wait until for a while and let Windows 10 do updating and maybe one of these updates will fix the problem for me. Or maybe when I do a search, I'll be able to find. The one thing, the LG monitor uh, DVD that came, when you do the click to install the driver, it comes up, you know, can't find dot N, INF or whatever it is. But I still put the uh, uh, driver, you know, on there and it shows up in the Windows uh, information about it. <clears throat> shows that the latest one is installed. When I try to install, you know, install it again or do whatever it shows, oh, you know, that's, you know, if I do a search for latest, you know, it says, oh, no, you have. But it's dated like uh, 2015, it shows in the details on the install driver. And uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I had to search through the DVD I downloaded from LG. Um, so I have a new Windows install. That means I'll have to bring over my programs and reset things and everything. I'm going to stop this. Oh, let me, though, show you. Uh, I think most of you, s let me go to Amazon and go to, let me show you the monitor that I'm talking about. And that's the 27 UD5. Eight P. I'm not sure what. Okay, it does show it down there, doesn't it? Okay, that's it. Now I I didn't buy it from Amazon. I got it from um, New Egg. I've had a for a little while. I've had a credit card with them, so I finally decided to use it. But uh, <clears throat> this is a monitor. Now, I just noted a while, noticed a while ago that the, and I thought I installed it again, but I, the software for uh, screen, uh, split screen and that type of stuff, I see that software is not, but it was installed. Uh, I just need to, I guess, put this thing back in and, uh, I don't know. I wonder if... Anybody, I really didn't, I looked at a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about it. I didn't read all of the, um, reviews to see if somebody might in there might say, you know, when I got it, uh, I had to go get such and such a driver or do such and such. So I may be doing that today. Um, anyway, I will get back to you here probably pretty quick with what's going on. And if you have any suggestions, um, other than going to an Apple computer or uh, going to a Chrome box or a Chromebook. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Leave that in the comments below. Thank you very much.